Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again. And apologies guys, it's been a very busy week here. I've had almost no time to create content here for the channel. I'm still working on my Pixel 6 review that's gonna come this weekend. I really just haven't had the time. But I did wanna chime in guys on this very interesting news that I saw yesterday about Xiaomi and Leica and what we will potentially see with this Leica partnership and potentially a Leica branded, co-branded camera on the Xiaomi 12 series. Now, could it be for the 12 or the 12 Ultra? I haven't really gone in depth with it, but I just wanna talk in a general sense of, you know, co-brandings. Cause we've seen this before with OnePlus and Hasselblad. And of course, Huawei used to have Leica as well in their partnership. They've already since expired and we've seen Sharp working with Leica as well. But to see a name like Leica potentially be co-branding their cameras with a company that's doing as crazy as Xiaomi is, it's pretty intense. Think about it guys, Xiaomi has really moved into that Huawei position. So in some ways it kind of makes sense that they are the ones to kind of carry on the baton of this co-branding with Leica, which for many people, folks, is the most, it's the most reputable, most important uh, camera brand in the market. I gotta say, at least when you think of Leica, you think of quality, you think of some of the best lenses that there are on the market. And of course, OnePlus with Hasselblad, that was an example, I think, of a pretty lousy brand, uh, co-branding of their phone. In the case of Google, you know, they don't really need to do anything like that. Uh, the camera quality of this phone is terrific. One of the best cameras of 2021 for stills and video has improved a lot as well. But I gotta say guys, in my opinion, oh, sorry about that. I was about to sneeze. I think someone's smoking over there. Is that Xiaomi really for me seems like the best company to do a co-branding with Leica. And of course, if we see with this Xiaomi 12, a Snapdragon 898, and we have this co-branded camera, and we have just improvements across the board, it could be one of the best partnerships for Xiaomi to do in 2022 with Leica co-branding their phones and the cameras within them. But anyways, hit me up in the comments, guys. What are your thoughts on this potential Xiaomi and Leica partnership, and do you think this means that Xiaomi really is moving now into the position of the Huawei, the new Huawei, you could say. Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Anyways, once again, apologies, guys. It's been a very busy week, but I'll be back with some more great content. Uh, and once again, apologies for the lighting here. It is, of course, evening, which is the only time I can truly film right after work here. I'll be back with some great content, top down, and my full review of the Pixel 6. That's right, Pixel 6, coming up. All right, so that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. And wrist check, we are wearing the Tudor Black Bay 58, the black gilt version. And guys, this watch is just tremendous. Absolutely love it. Have a good one.